Hey guys, Beck Photography here, and today we are looking at a lens comparison video. I'm here today with model Olivia Round, and I'll leave a link to her Instagram in the description if you're interested in checking out more of her work. Basically what we did is we went on a portrait session at nighttime with three different lenses. We're looking at the Sigma 35mm 1.4 art lens, the Sigma 50mm 1.4 art lens, and the Sigma 85mm 1.4 art lens. And there's going to be a link in the description to all these different lenses and all of my camera equipment that I used on this photo shoot. So if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can keep up with all the latest videos on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to keep all the settings in camera the same so you can see exactly what the difference between each of these lenses is when you're taking photos from the same distance from your subject and on the same settings as well. So in all of these photos, I used a Sony a7R2 camera as well as a Yongnuo YN300 constant light. And these photos are slightly edited in post-production, but mainly just things like adding a little bit of contrast and a little bit more vibrance as well. So this is the first photo at 35mm and I shot at an aperture of f1.8, an ISO of 1250 and a shutter speed of 1 1 60th of a second. And as you can see with a 35mm you can really get an idea of the background of this image but still have a nice compression so that there's a blurriness in the background at low aperture and a three dimensional effect with your model sharp in the foreground. So 35mm is a really good focal length for portraits if you want to show off the background, if you have an interesting background. But the problem with 35mm is you don't get as much compression in the background compared to something like a 50mm, 85mm or something even longer. And what that means is the background isn't going to be as blurry, the bokeh isn't going to be as creamy. And it also means that your subject isn't going to be separated as much from your background. So let me know in the comments what you thought about that photo. I really like shooting at 35mm if you've got an interesting background. Sometimes when you're shooting portraits, the background might not be that interesting, so shooting at a longer focal length is nice. But when you have you know, these beautiful neon lights in the background, something interesting to look at, shooting at 35mm is a really great choice because it really gives the viewer of the image a great idea of what the scene in your images. The next photo we're going to be looking at is this one here and this one was taken at 50mm and settings were the same f1.8, ISO 1250 and 1 1 60th of a second and as you can see now we're really sort of drawing focus to the model and leaving the background out of the shot a little bit more. So you can see there's a little bit more compression in the background, the background's a little bit more blurry compared to the other photo but the model is still obviously sharp. So with 50mm, you're really starting to close in a little bit more on your subject. You can still see quite a lot of the background, but it's more of a lens to draw focus to a point rather than show a wide variety of things in your entire scene. So 50mm is a really great portrait lens. It's a great focal length for portraits because you can still see quite a lot of the background, but it's drawing more focus to a single point in the image, which in this case is my model. So I think 50mm is a really great middle ground for portraits where you can still get some nice compression in the background for blurry bokeh, but you also can still see a lot of the background and the viewer of your image can still see a lot of the scene and get an idea of the style of the portrait that you're taking. So 50mm is great. I do like 35mm, but 50mm I think is a very good happy medium between getting nice compression and then also still being able to see lots of the background in your image. So finally, we're going to look at an 85mm portrait that I took in the same area, and this is the photo we're going to be looking at. As you can see now, we're really focusing in on the model, and you really can't see that much of the background. The background is much blurrier than in the 50mm, and much, much blurrier than in the 35mm. And that can be great, especially if you have a boring background, but it can also be great when you have a lit up background, because it makes the bokeh super big, super bright, and super colorful. Now, 85mm is particularly good for making beautiful blurry backgrounds. So if you have a background with lots of colorful light in it, it can make that look really beautiful because the bokeh in 85mm is much bigger and bolder because of the more compression in the photo. But I feel like for certain situations, such as this one, um, a wider angle lens can be nice because the background in these particular photos is a lot more interesting. So those are the three different focal lengths we are looking at today. There'll be a link in the description to all of these lenses and all of the camera equipment I used if you're interested in checking that out. In the comments, let me know what you thought of each photo and which one is your favorite. I think my favorite personally for this photo shoot is a 35mm lens, although often I like to use a 50 or an 85mm depending on the situation. So please subscribe and once again, thank you very much for watching.